Okay. We're on insight number 97. All persons, jobs, activities, situations, can and situations can add to the flavor of a sexual encounter in significant and unusual ways. This is true because each situation, person and place has unique features that intrigue the mind as to what and how those features will interact with sex and add to the mental pleasure of the unusual sexual encounter. You see the mind is intrigued by unusualness. Coupled with the pleasure of sex, the idea of unusual sex is experienced as, a, as intriguing pleasure. Again, the idea of unusual sex is experienced as intriguing pleasure. So basically, it's um, the mind is able to see, when, when you're experiencing something, you experience it generally as a whole that you have that ability so that's what uh, happens often and uh, you do not generally look at um, parts parts of a uh, you don't break down the parts of each um, experience though of course you can but generally we uh, it, it is possible also to experience it as a whole and uh, and so you have people, you have jobs, which is not your occupation, activities like hobbies or any other activity, and situations like relationships and different, it's like situation comedies. Situation comedies are attractive, uh, are engaging to the mind because various situations occur, um, like the dramas, dramas, soap operas, um, and dramatic uh, theater or drama, whatever, uh, movies, plays, whatever, uh, they develop interesting situations that are intriguing to the mind, very similar to chess. Uh, chess uh, pieces interact with each other in unique ways, and so this, war, this intrigues the mind, because each, each piece uh, has different uh, capabilities. And so it's intriguing what actually occurs as, as when, when combinations of things are put together on the, the, the place of the board, you know. It's very interesting how they all interact. And so it's intriguing enough as it is, meaning without, being, uh, without having sexual encounter um, being part of it. But when you add sex to the, the equation of all these various interactions, then it adds even more um, uh, pleasure, more intrigue. Intrigue and pleasure are put together, basically. Intrigue and pleasure are put together. Um, unusualness, unusual situations, um, yeah, unusual differing situations, intriguing situations um, uh, are makes the mind curious as how it will affect sex and how sex will affect the, the situation and what does it mean as a whole? What, what is experienced as a whole? Under the explanation I go into the sandwich, having a sandwich uh, in a picnic, how it seems to taste better than at home. And so I've, I've explained this somewhere else, so I'll have, you go, I'll have you a link to it here. I'll make a link so you can go directly there and uh, I've explained it in detail. Um, yeah, so this is true. Why, why are things, why are jobs, people, uh, situations, activities, why, why are these things, um, why do they have the capability of adding to, to, a, to a, a sexual encounter? It's because each of them have unique features 
that intrigue the mind as to what and how those features will interact with sex. Yeah, just like the chessboard, each piece has a different move, move, uh, move capability, um, motion capability. Just like um, you know, when you have in the soap operas, you have the doctor, and he has a certain personality. Um, you have the the nurse; she has a certain personality. You know, you have the the, the mother; she has a certain personality at the house, and uh, you have the husband and the so many different people. Somebody is working at um, uh, uh, as a butcher. Uh, somebody is working at a different place, and um, uh, they are some are students. So dads, kids, uh, uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, so many things. Each one has a different personality, and so this engages our mind into these various personalities. And we, and when they, in these personality interacts with another personality, this intrigues the mind. This is enough to intrigue the mind. But when you add sex to the to the equation, that even adds now even more interest, intrigue, you know, oh, and and pleasure also involved. That's so you know, when the mind is experiencing intrigue and pleasure together, and you mistakenly think that. The sexual activity is the one that is really powerful, uh, really mind-grabbing and intriguing. Well, actually, the intrigue comes from the, the other differences, really. This is to be distinguished from the power, um, the power in contrast. Um, though, though uh, um, these little these intrigues are. Uh, may not be dramatically different, but they are like a like a puzzle, um, like a maze. Um, and these mazes and puzzles together. Uh, have you seen these puzzles that you have two puzzles and they're very intricate in design, both of them, and you have to try to get them out. You know, uh, these intricacies, the mind is really absorbed in, the, in them. And, uh, uh, and how to get out of this maze. So that's, that's, that's what's similar, similar to what's happening with the different personalities and how they will interact and what will happen and how will they get along, if they will get along.